Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you've seen there, we had some footage from Earlville, Iowa, from Tri-State Raceway from six summer. We headed on over there just to you know hang out with the guys, see if anybody needed any help, offer them up the shop, which I'll show you around here. I actually kind of got it pretty well cleaned up. And then uh, you know Steve Morris, we helped him out. He needed a clear view. Well, we're not really sure what he needed because every time he put a filter on, it was blowing out the gasket between the uh, clear view and the oil filter. Not sure why, but Scott. And Jason had one over there, so this one obviously you can see a little better in the light, but the filter to the base, there's an O-ring obviously, which is just your normal O-ring that goes on a filter, Done nothing special, continuing to blow that out. So I ran over, got a new base, buzz that over there, helped Steve out with that. Um, didn't quite make a good pass, he's got a ring landing that's broke for the oil ring, so it's definitely chooching some smoke out as you've seen there. And uh, track, I don't think it was really there, I don't think anybody was getting any good six second passes in or anything, so... It is what it is, you know, but that was fun. Um, the shop here, we are getting ready to wash up both trucks. We're gonna head up to Strawberry Point for the local fair, I guess you can say, event that goes on there, Strawberry Days. And we're gonna have both of these sitting out in front of Rod and Cal's for anybody that wants to come and see them. We'll fire them up a couple times. We'll have the tent set up with merch and stuff like that. Might have to have Jason get some more methanol. I had all three of these barrels here at the shop and dumped them all out and it got me maybe five gallons so at least now I know they're all empty and they can go back to Edgewood Oil so thank you to Paul for helping us out with methanol all the time and in the shop here kind of gave updates on this side before but I got a few things out on the bench here the holly stuff the push rods and you know a mess underneath the table yet but otherwise over here we got a few parts left from Carl's um, 35 Ford truck and then over here is where I did a lot of cleaning so obviously we still got Goliath over here. We've got tires and other things up here. Yeah, it's still messy guys. So when we had the fire, when they cleaned the stuff, they just threw it back on the shelves and just left it wherever they wanted to. So it really needs gone through. But the main part was, is I wanted to get the shop space cleaned up as far as floor space. So that way when the Camaro and stuff's done, hopefully we'll be able to get the Camaro in here, I believe. Maybe off to one side, so that way something else can pull in up behind it. Shouldn't shouldn't be an issue at all. There should be plenty of space here, so that way if burning green or maybe death trap since it's a short box. But yeah, no, that's what I've been working on. So we got a new display thing here, rack for shirts. Actually, I bought um, two, four, six, so four of them. 
so we can uh, clip shirts on here for you guys um, at when we go to the events and stuff. That way you can have a double-sided front and back of one shirt, front and back of the other on the other side. And we can stick them out in the aisleways. But that is a shot of that. So I think I'm just going to wrap it here for tonight. I'm going to get the trucks cleaned up. Might even buff on Death Trap a little bit because for some reason there's a lot of overspray up on the cowl for sure here. And... It doesn't really want to come off, so you can see there's, I don't know, it's like white. Oh, it was probably when I was painting the box the first time when I just spray painted it. It's probably what it is, or the firewall, but oh well. I do have material nowadays. If we were to do anything in the shop, we could put a nice plastic. I bought a roll of that stuff that you use when you do your housework. So we got sheets of that. So when we do put something over there for storage, or even on this side that we're currently on, we can definitely cover it up. So... Let's go ahead, we'll get everything washed up here, cleaned up. If I got time, I'll detail it. I need to make sure I got two O-rings that I believe are gonna be a little iffy, which are these back two. I think they're gonna leak, so we'll try it tomorrow. I do have more coming. And then we will be up at Strawberry Point tomorrow. All right, well, next day in the shop here, Morgan's drawn. That's me, that's Haley, and that's Nathan. Okay, so apparently they're drawing some. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right, anyways, got the truck cleaned up and actually buffed out, well, got the DA out and buffed a little bit of this. When we spray painted the box for Burning Green the first time, it got a little bit of overspray all over this, so went ahead and buffed the roof. Couldn't get under light bars. Of course, there's a bunch of little uh, particles. I'll get a towel shoved under there later. It'll get a little dusty going up there and starting it up and stuff. Got our Holly sticker on there. Thanks for the support from Holly. Again, Moran, Most Raceworks, and Excess Power. Thank you to all of them. And yeah, otherwise the rest of it's pretty much good to go. Jason's bringing a brand new drum of methanol over, so we'll fill up both trucks here. We got the chargers on, and we should be pretty much ready to go. The only concern is, is I ran over and grabbed three packs of these, uh, I think they're just LS injector O-rings, ES70599 Felpros, because I know these last two were torn. I think I mentioned before on the uppers. I found a couple laying around the shop here, and I'm just not sure if they're going to seal. So when Jason gets here, I think I'm actually going to grab the drill, turn the oil pump over, pump the oil back up in here, and I think we got to add some, and then we'll load up and head on up.
I know I didn't record much, but we're all loaded back up here. This was just a uh, country cruiser's little car meet, so we didn't end up going up to Strawberry. Um, we ended up in Manchester here. Pretty good turnout, Jason, I think. Obviously, Andy's car was pretty loud, so that's a nitro-powered car. They started up on gasoline there the first run, as you've seen, for, you know, or methanol, I guess, at first, and then switched it over to nitro, but, yeah, pretty impressive. Very expensive, though, too, so... I think that's going to wrap it for this one, guys. So next up is going to be Milwaukee Burnouts. Might have something in between there, but that's June 24th. So we'll have that video coming up soon here. We're going to be taking all three up there and putting on one hell of a show for you guys. So if you can make it, June 24th, West Bend, Wisconsin. And uh, if not, look forward to the video, guys. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next one.